Okay, so given that cosine of x equals 0 0.42, we're supposed to say what cosine of negative x is. No, it's not saying what's the angle. It's not saying what's x. It's saying what is this going to be equal to. And so we can use a property about cosine. Cosine is even. So if you try to evaluate cosine of negative x, it's the same thing as cosine of positive x. So that's an, that means it's an even function. If you plug in a negative number, you get the same thing as if you plugged in the same positive number. And just so you know, sine is odd. It means if you plug in a negative number for sine, you can get the same thing. You just have to multiply your result by negative 1 on the outside. And same thing with uh, tangent. Tangent is odd. Okay. Okay, so cosine, if cosine of x equals 0 0.42, then cosine of negative x, it's the same thing. We don't have to attach a negative sign because it's even. Uh, because of this, this right here. The graph of f of x equals cosine of x. Now, before we move on, uh, think about what cosine of 0 is. Cosine with an angle of 0 means that you haven't rotated anywhere around the unit circle. So you're starting right here. So on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinates. So cosine of 0 is 1. So when you graph cosine of x, at x equals 0, y equals 1. It starts up here. And then cosine dips down, and then by the time we reach 2 pi, it's started repeating itself. Okay, but they said they're restricting the domain from 2 pi to 4 pi. So that means we got another rotation of the graph. We've gone another period. We're at 4 pi now. Okay, Which of the following intervals are strictly increasing? Um, so luckily, uh, there's no funny business going on here between 2 pi and 4 pi. It's nice and symmetrical. Um, Actually, I gotta think about that. Yeah, so if we look at the sketch that I have here, where it's strictly increasing is when it hits this valley and then it starts going up. Okay? Because that's that's when it starts increasing. At two pi, we're going down. A little to the right of two pi, we're still going down. Graph's still going down, still going down. It's when we reach this valley that we are um that we start increasing. So we need to know this x coordinate. And it's a sketch you could check with the graphing software, but in between those two is 3 pi. Because if you plug in 3 pi in for cosine, that's the same thing as 1 pi. And the reason for that is because, you know, 2 pi is, a, is 360 degrees just in radian form, right? So if you were to take an angle and rotate it 360 degrees, the angle is still in the same place, right? So same thing here. I just rotated it backwards 360 degrees back to uh, back to pi. And cosine of pi, here's the angle pi. It's 100 pi in radians is 180 degrees. This is at negative 1 comma 0. So this is negative 1. So we just checked it. We plugged in 3 pi in for cosine, and it gave us negative 1 for y. So that is the lowest point. So at 3 pi, this thing starts increasing until we get to 4 pi. So this is our interval uh, where it is strictly increasing. Let's see if there's other intervals, though. Uh, from 2 pi to 5 pi over 2, look, it's decreasing in some of that. So it's not strictly increasing throughout the entire graph. Of, uh, so 5 pi over 2, that's 2.5 pi. So that's a little to the left. Right? So that means we actually have some place where we're decreasing and then a bunch of increasing places. But this is not strictly increasing because it includes some part of the graph where we, where we are decreasing. And then 3 pi, 9 pi over 2. 9 pi over 2, that's um, 4.5 pi. We can't select this one because 9 pi over 2 is outside of our domain. So this is the only correct option. 